at this question, you see there are some exponential terms. You have 3 to the power of y and this side you have 9 to the power of y. Note that 9 being a product of 3 and 3, I can write it as 3 squared y or simply I can also manipulate this into 3y whole squared. If you'll do so, that is when you get a quadratic in terms of 3y. Check it out. So 3 to the power of y whole squared plus 5, 3 to the power of y minus 10 equals to 0. As soon as you do this, you realize what you have got is a quadratic in terms of this. So I'm saying 3 to the power of y. Let me call this as t. If I'll do so, I'll have t squared plus 5 times t minus 10 equals to 0. So t squared plus 5t minus 50 has to be equal to 0. Assuming that you already know how to solve a quadratic, we'll get two values of t here. One I'll get is minus 10 and the other one I get is positive 5. You can see, you can check it out yourself. And now from here, once you have the value of t, that is when we are going to plug in back into the equation. I know t was 3 to the power of y. So I'll say 3 to the power of y has to be 5 or minus 10. Remember, a positive number raised to some power will never give you a negative answer. So you should reject the negative value and there should be no doubt at all. And if you're just solving for this, 3 to the power of y is 5, you have y as your missing power. So when the power is missing, that is when you bring power as a subject and that is, that is when logarithms will enter your equation. So because the power is missing, I'll say that this power has to be equal to log of 5 to the base 3. If you'll solve it, you'll get the fixed value rounded to three significant figures, we get it as 1.46.